NASA is preparing to launch its mega rocket to the moon. It's the first phase of the Artemis program with the dream of putting astronauts back on the lunar surface and beyond. Manager for the Gateway Program's Deep Space Logistics Program, Mark Karasik, is a manager, as I said, for that program. He joins me here on The Morning Show. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Of course. If all goes according to plan, Artemis 1 will blast off and make the 239 mile 239,000 mile trek to the moon Monday on a 42 day mission. This uncrewed mission will hopefully pave the way to putting the first woman and person of color on the lunar surface. Can you hear us? Can, can you hear me? Yeah, so yes. So, so yes, Artemis is our, our first mission. It's a test flight where we're actually, we have a, the SLS rocket, our first new largest rocket we've ever had, eight and a half million pounds of thrust, the Orion spaceship, which is our spacecraft on top, four crew, the ability to take them out for four weeks. This is our, our initial launch to test and ring out this system and bring us back to the moon. And this time for a sustained campaign, you know, we've taken the last 50 years of technology and we're actually going to go back this time and we're going to be able to stay, explore the moon and, and really become the gateway that unlocks our exploration beyond. So it's no coincidence that the Artemis program is named for the twin sister of the Apollo from Greek mythology. Artemis will pick up where the famed Apollo program left off in 1972 by sending crewed missions to the moon, but in a new way. How so? So the, the new way is we're going out to stay. In the 60s, we'd have to launch multiple launches, aggregate our pieces to get out there. And, and it was really a, a one shot, get down, get down to the surface. We couldn't stay very long. And it was about showing our prowess and showing the country what we can do. Now, you know, between the space shuttle program, then the space station program, we've learned so much about living and working in space. And we've got the technology and the capability that we're gonna go out there to stay. We're gonna understand and mine the resources the moon has. We're gonna take that science and be able to, to really protect our planet here and continue to pull commercial industry with us. Go out there in this sustained way that allows us to explore beyond like never before. I started off by saying this mission may pave the way to the moon and beyond, perhaps to Mars. This inaugural flight is meant to test the Orion capsule for deep flight. Absolutely. So, so this is a test mission. We're going to ring out all the systems. Orion is designed for the different radiation environment that exists out at the moon. It's designed for the higher speeds it'll take when we re-enter the, the Earth's atmosphere and bring our crew safely back to home. So this test will be uncrewed. We've got a Munikin. Uh, Commander Campos is inside there, instrumented. We've got a, a couple other Munikins that are in there so we can really understand the environment. We're going to test all the life support systems. We're going to understand and push this spaceship to its limits so that when we go with crew, we've bought down that risk with the Artemis II mission. Snoopy's on board, too. Um, uh, Apollo inspired the world. Uh, the world's divided right now. What can Artemis teach humanity? Because I know the ultimate goal is to make this an international mission. Yes, so, so Artemis will inspire the world. It'll inspire the next Artemis generation. And I'm glad you mentioned Snoopy, right? He's going to be that indicator to show us we're in zero gravity. And he's a connection back to the first time we did it. But Artemis is an international campaign. We've got over 28 plus countries that keep signing on as our Artemis Accords. They'll continue to work with us. We are working together across the world to show that we need to take care of this planet together. We need to push technology together, and we're doing that with Artemis. All right, so launch window opens uh, at 8.33 on Monday. Weather looking to go? Weather's looking great, and everyone's driving in right now. They're on console in the Launch Control Center. We're starting our countdown, and we're looking forward to a great launch Monday morning. And I know that there are watch parties being planned. We'll be watching here just a few miles up the coast from the Space Coast. Mark, good talking to you. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Meantime, we've got to get through our weather here in Northeast Florida and South Georgia, Mark.